Time for hundred and fifty money in hand here, four, four and a half. Uh, somebody get four fifty worth of money here, four, four and a half. Anybody else here? You put it out down here, four fifty nine. Good morning, Silas here. We are at another auction. I'm going to walk around, check out, see what's here. Don't know if we're going to get anything today, but brought the kids with me, so we're going to have some fun. This thing is kind of cool. I don't know. Not the only thing I see on this table that I would want. Bunch of junk on here. See anything you need, Addy? And they were raising them out there. Nope. Them. How about you, Bennett? This is crazy. Nope. Bunch of... Uh, not cool stuff. That anvil's cool, but those always go high. I don't need it. <laughs> Hopefully these don't take too long. These are air horns are off big semis. Old semis. These are lights. They go up on top. I came out here yesterday and kind of looked everything over, so I kind of know what I want. Which is good, because that way I know where I have to be when the auction gets there, and the rest of the time we can go hang out in the shade, because it's going to be a hot one today. These are pretty cool. I like those doors over there. I don't remember what they say. Quinn Robbins. And that one doesn't say anything, but it's just a neat yellow door. Those are off of an old semi. Some more doors over here. These aren't as cool, though. So I don't know if I'll bid on those or not. Old semis. Bunches of junk. Whole trailer full of hubcaps. There's a few vehicles out here. Really old truck, old sedan, a Skittles Jeep, another old big truck, then an old grain truck, and I think there's another old winch truck beside the grain truck. A little bit newer out of the early 60s. Bunches of old license plates. Nothing I really need though, except for there's one over here. Thank you, yeah, this one here. That's the year I was born, and I don't have a trailer tag for the year I was born. So I may bid on that one. Not worth a lot of money, but if I can pick it up for a few bucks, I'll grab it. A few interesting things on here, but I don't really do eBay anymore, so I'm not super interested in any of this stuff. Here's a cool old hood ornament. There's a few pieces in there I might be interested in, but not super interested. And then these here are pretty neat. A bunch of Max. A Rio. Diamond Tees. Bunches of scrap iron. My buddy Skyler's gonna be here, so I'll let him bid on all that stuff. Yeah, nothing good in here. There might be down underneath all that stuff, but I ain't gonna bid on it. Here's that old winch truck. It's got a 261 in it, but it's a rust bucket deluxe. Here's an old 283. It's locked up tight, but it does have a four barrel on it, so I'm gonna try to buy it just for that four barrel. I don't think it'll go for very much money because it's locked up so hard. Auction's going, but there's nothing over there I need, so ordered some cinnamon rolls. Papa's here with us today. Got your cinnamon rolls ready, guys. Is it a good cinnamon roll? Yummy, yummy. This is kind of cool. I don't know what it's for, but it's neat. I might bid on that. Bunches of three-wheelers. This is probably the main thing I'm interested in is this one here, and you guys already know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> Bad news for this truck. But... We'll see what it goes for. That auction last time, that truck brought a fortune, like $2,500 for one of these. I, I can't even get $1,500 out of them when I try to sell them. There's a little bit of stuff back here. This buggy's kind of cool. I don't have any use for it. I don't feel like fixing it, so I probably won't bid on that, but it's just neat. Yeah, it does look like a carriage because that's what it is. Homemade one. But uh, this is going to be towards the end of the auction, so there might not be anybody here. If it goes cheap, I'll bid on it anyway. Bunch of miscellaneous stuff back here. I might try to bid on that. And this is a Chevy t uh, truck bed here, I think. Long bed. And it doesn't say Chevy on it, so I could be wrong on that, but it just looks like a Chevy to me. Here's an old drill press. You know, stuff like that, to me, is kind of crazy putting that all the way out here at the back row, because that would probably bring good money if it was up towards the beginning of the auction. But being back here, I mean, by the time they get back here, there's going to be hardly anybody left. It's going to be probably... A good four, maybe five hours before they get back here to this stuff. So most people are going to be gone by then. But uh, lots of scrap iron back here. My buddy Skyler's here, so he's going to be bidding on that. Then it's yelling at me about what is something. <laughs> this tank's pretty cool here. I'll probably hit that once or twice. I don't want to give too much for it because it's not super cool. I don't know if it's worth a whole lot of money, but it is neat. There is scrap iron all through these trees. The guy that had this property 
at one time did not sell anything he just stashed it all when he was done with it he stashed it and then his son got it when he passed away and he cleaned it up a lot but uh, there's still a lot of stuff left out here there's three old semis there's one here one there and one way down there this truck here hardly anything left off of it the sleeper that's on the back of it actually goes to the one that's all the way down there this truck here is pretty stripped out just the cab and frame that's got a solid aluminum frame in it though it's some thick heavy gauge aluminum and then the one down there is pretty well complete we'll walk down there and check it out it's going to be weird when these trucks are gone because these have been here my entire life and the highway is just right over there so every time i drove down the highway headed to wichita my entire life i've seen these trucks now they're going to be gone this one here has a crazy long wheelbase on it it's an old kenworth He actually drove this one. Huge copper radiator in it. Kind of a bad deal, but we probably won't even bid on these semis. We asked the guy that is having the auction. He said, well, can we uh, give us a little bit of time till it rains or something? That way we can come out here and chop these in half so we can haul them. Because like this, you can't haul them. I mean, the tires are rotted. You'd have to take them off, take them to town, put tires on them, and try to hopefully cage the brakes and then have them towed. And you're just talking a lot of work and money to get them hauled in. So we thought we'd just chop them in half, load them with the loader because I can drive the loader out here in like 20 minutes. But uh, we mentioned the scrap word and that was a major, major no-no. He got very offended at that. So I'm probably not gonna bid on these. Now this one has an aluminum frame in it too, but uh, it is what it is. I just don't want to cause any hard feelings. Real quick story, there was actually an antique salvage yard in town a long time ago. And when I was probably about, well, I would have been about nine, 10 years old, the guy decided he wanted to go ahead and sell it. He was an old man, he wanted to get rid of everything. He called my dad and said, what will you give us? And my dad said, I'll give you X amount of ton. At that time, I think it was like 25 or 30 bucks a ton. So the average old car was gonna bring about 40 bucks. And he says, I ain't selling these cars for 40 bucks. I'll have an auction, they'll bring two, 300 bucks a piece. So he had an auction and there was only two scrappers showed up, my dad and one other guy. And they had made an agreement with each other that they wouldn't bid against each other, just every other car they could bid on. And if they didn't get that car, too bad. They had to wait till the next every other car, you know, if you understand what I'm saying. And so they start bidding and they're buying these cars for one to five dollars a piece all the way through the whole auction and my dad and that other guy both bought hundreds of cars for just a few bucks a piece or less and a lot of them just went for a dollar all antique cars kind of a bad deal looking back now but that was before old cars were worth anything this is back in the late 90s early 2000s so anyway the auction's over the guy comes out and locks the gate and says you had till the auction was over to get your stuff out of here ain't nobody allowed back in so it was a big fiasco. Long story short, luckily we knew somebody right down the street that was willing to let us haul them over there and they gave us two weeks to haul them. So we went in there with loaders and we just smashed all the roofs in and got them off the property immediately. That way we could go ahead and get the stuff off of his property and then work on cleaning it up as we went later on. It was a big old fiasco and we actually had to pay him $100 a day to let us in there after the auction was over. <laughs> we paid more in fees of having to get back in there than we paid for the cars. Bunches of scrap iron here and like these trailers, they're going to sell those and I guarantee those trailers are going to go for like 50 or 100 bucks a piece. Tons of money to be made there, but they can't be towed. So what do you do? You can't scrap them and you can't tow them. Nobody's going to put tires on those. I don't know what's going to happen. It'll be interesting to see what happens at the end of the day. But check out this old bus. It was converted into an RV a long, 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 long time ago. It's been sitting out here for probably 20 years or more. It's a solid aluminum body on that. That's pretty crazy. That can be towed, so we might bid on that. And this trailer, once again, is a solid aluminum trailer, sides, top, and bottom with a steel frame under it. And that's worth a fortune for scrap right now, even at today's lower prices. But there are no hubs, wheels, or tires, or nothing on this side, so it has to be disassembled on location, and there's just no way we can get that done in the next week. So we'll let, maybe there's another scrapper here, and he'll buy it for dirt cheap, and he'll make a ton of money, but that's probably all he does is go to auctions and bid on stuff. So he can make that money, and we'll make our money doing something else. But it's going to be a while before they get to anything I want to bid on, so I guess I'll put the camera away and just hang out in the shade for a little while. Is that right? Yeah. Yep, 162. Hey, the lenses. Hey, we got all kinds of lights. Lenses here. Five hundred two and three sold. Two dollar bill. One sixty three. One sixty three. The buyer. Fifteen dollar down here. Ten dollar bit. Fifteen dollar twenty. Dollar twenty here. But about dollar twenty. Dollar five here. Good twenty dollar bit. Five. Good twenty dollar bit. Give two and a half. Five twenty dollar bit. Two and a half. Dollar bit back here. Dollar twenty dollar bit. Two fifty. 
Break down here, corner dollar, one, one, out, no. ten, twelve and a half. Yep. And a fifteen dollar down, no. down, corner down, corner down, five here, forty five and a half. How about you? Corner down, front of the middle of the mouth here, down, corner dollar, there, down, five. Sold, twenty dollars, on the down, fifteen, down, corner down, corner down, 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 five here for the set. The twenty dollar and five and twenty five and five dollar in front of the mouth here, like a twenty dollar bid, five, twenty five dollar there, that sold, twenty dollars, on in a corner down, five, five of the mouth, thirty dollar in, thirty bounce, corner down, forty five at the mouth, thirty. Get thirty dollar there, down, twenty five now, thirty dollar in, thirty bounce at the mouth, down here, down, $25 dollars here. Sold $25 here. Let's go with the $119 is the lucky one. $40 here down five. Sold $40. $144. $44. Joe, two times. Lunchtime. Chicken tenders and fries. And seven and a half dollar down ten. I'm a seven and a half down ten dollar button ten. I'm a ten dollar and ten. I'm a ten dollar got seven and a half. Eight ten. I'm a ten dollar and ten. I'm a ten about a lot of pickets for ten bucks. I'm a ten. Six here. Are you done? Put thirty-five hundred dollar and six. You want to touch it again? Thirty-six hundred. 
3600 So, right here. Thank you both. $3,500. $10.15. $10.15. Uh, $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15. $10.15
I'm guessing I probably can't get it to free up, so it's going to be a, a core or a, probably a total rebuild where somebody actually takes it completely apart, rebuilds everything from scratch, puts new bushings in it in the whole nine yards. But what's cool about these is with the number that's on this, I think it's 3500S. I don't know what this originally came out on, but these were really common on Impalas and Corvettes. So when I list this item, I will be able to figure out what the date code is, B3. So is that, yeah, that's a 63 then. So with this here, I can list this online as an Impala or Corvette carburetor. And as we all know, the words Impala and Corvette add lots of value to pretty much everything. And this here, I can get around a hundred and a quarter out of, I'm guessing. So I won't make a whole lot of money because I gave the engine to Skyler, so he'll get that money. But he's also gonna help haul some stuff in that I bought at the very end of the sale. If you guys remember, I was talking about that big pile of wheels and tires. Uh, the auctioneer was like, I'm just going to sell them all for one money. Somebody give me five bucks. And I said, yeah, and nobody bid. So I got the entire pile for five bucks. And there's two great big semi-aluminum wheels in there. So uh, I didn't have room for them and they're too heavy. So Skyler's going to go out there today, pull them up on his trailer and uh, haul those to me for free for giving him that engine. I bought that old Chevy grain truck and all these tubs came with it. There's tons of nice parts in here. Nice chrome dash parts, I believe. Yeah, the, the Chevrolet logo and the other chrome that goes above where the speaker goes is there. This is a heater box that someone's had chromed. I'm not sure that's not original, so I'm not sure what that is, but it goes with the truck he said. Here's a brand new fuel gauge. This tub here is clear full of, I'm not entirely sure what that is, some sort of piece of upholstery. I don't know if that's for the headliner or the door panels or what. There's the seat covers right there for it. This box here, I'm not entirely sure what all's in there. I know there's an electric wiper motor conversion kit in there. Uh, the rest of the heater core is in there. Uh, there's an old horn in there, one of those Uga horns. There's a bunch of cool stuff in that box as well. So I'm going to put all that with the truck and try to keep it all together. I was going through this tub and I found this old Ford Jubilee tractor emblem. I'm sure that's worth a little bit of money. Probably not worth a ton of money, but probably worth a little bit of money. And there's this shifter here. I don't know exactly what it's out of, but it is a floor shifter. So uh, that might be worth a little bit. And of course that there, that doesn't go to the truck. It's a six volt version. Unfortunately, I wish it was 12 volt. If it was 12 volt, I'd put it on one of my vehicles, but uh, that doesn't really go to that truck. So I'm gonna sell it separately. Got some pretty cool stuff here. These wrenches, these diesel injection pumps. I think there's four of those in here. I don't know where the fourth one is. Tied in here somewhere. And then those two starters and that electric motor were all on a pallet. And really all I wanted was this really nice injection pump right here. And I believe I gave, I can't remember now. I think it was $15 for everything. Or maybe it was 25, maybe it was 25, but I really didn't think that was too bad of a deal. I mean, that thing there, if I can figure out what it goes to, is probably worth a couple hundred bucks by itself at least. And then just the electric motors and the, the electric motor and the two starters will bring the scrap value back almost of what I paid for everything. So not a bad deal at all there. I took a minute and I just looked these up and these rougher ones here, I can probably get about 40 or 50 bucks a piece out of just for cores or rebuild. This in here is a little bit nicer. It's not real nice. I'm not sure. It looks like it may have been worked on a little bit. I don't know. This one is probably worth about 150. So you're looking at at least $200 here for the three of those. So that was a pretty good buy for 25 bucks or whatever it was. And like this 24 inch pipe wrench here, that was in the same pile. If I was to buy that new, I looked them up. They're $125 brand new is what these cost for a rigid 24 inch. And the new ones are aluminum. They're not steel like this. And this in here, the teeth are all still in really good condition. It's got some surface rust on it, but uh, nothing that won't clean up pretty good. Everything still works, so definitely a good buy. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on these. I don't remember what I gave for them, but I, if I remember right, it came out to just, I think, four or five bucks a piece for as many as are in this tub. This is an old concrete pig statue. I really like this piece. I'm not sure what it's worth. I mean, you can buy stuff like this new a lot of times, but you can't buy it with this patina on it. And so that ought to bring pretty good money. I didn't even know I bought that. There was a pile of car parts and he said, everything on the ground here that hasn't sold already, we're going to sell for one more money. And so I bought everything, I think for, I think $25. And this was laying there underneath the other stuff. Another one of my favorite buys is this old roof rack. Now I have no clue what this roof rack fits. I don't think it's an OEM roof rack. I'm guessing it's some sort of vintage aftermarket piece. But uh, if you have any clue what uh, era this is from or what this might fit, let me know in the comments. I have no clue. It's just got two screw hole mounts on each one of the feet. And then it's got this design here. It could potentially be OEM for something, and I just don't recognize what it is, but uh, if you have any ideas at all what this might fit, please let me know. All these diamond T-parts, I did really, really good on those. I paid for this box. Yeah, this box here, I still have that hood ornament in it. My dad loaded all this stuff, so I don't know exactly where he put everything. But there was that really cool hood ornament as well that was in this box. I gave, I don't remember now, I think it was $225 for this whole box, $225. 
but uh, just these pieces by themselves are worth a ton of money. And then the hood ornament, there's none like it online. I found one on another website, it wasn't on eBay or anything, and it sold like 10 years ago. It was one of those old forums, and uh, it sold for, I believe, $400. It was a little bit better condition, but not much. So I did pretty good on that. These here, I gave 50 bucks for the pair of them, and I thought to myself, man, did I, did I rip myself off on that one? I looked them up. These are about $150 to $250 online, depending on condition. This one's really nice. The one underneath it has some paint gone off of it, so I'm not entirely sure what the exact value is, but definitely more than I gave. License plates. I bought tons of license plates. I'm pretty sure I gave less than $75 for all of them, and I got around, I believe it was about 150 license plates total so i have an average of 50 cents a piece in these things so super super cheap kind of cool the cycle up here number 292 it's not a rare one or anything but i've got a buddy here in kansas and that's his kansas license plate uh, collector number is 292 so he wants that one my dad brought this one out for me it's a little bit easier to haul these big trucks on the rollback than it is my trailer this truck here is what all those new parts go to i think it's a 49 if i remember right i have a title on the truck but it runs and drives pretty cool truck but he was going to completely restore it and he just decided not to so he sold it at the auction and all the parts with it i actually believe i already sold this truck i have a guy up in pennsylvania wanting to buy it and i pretty much doubled my money on it and the only thing is is i'm gonna have to sit on it for probably three or four months I got some more stuff stacked on the tailgate that we can go through real quick. I counted them up. There's 127 license plates total. This in here, I don't know if there's any value because it's so rusty, but it's an old California, 1938 California tag. And I know old California tags usually have some pretty good value, but that one there has seen much, much better days. So we'll look it up, see if it's an ultra rare one. If they're ultra rare or ultra valuable, people will actually restore them even in this condition. But like that, it's probably just a wall hanger. And then, actually, I didn't even know I bought this one. This was kind of a bonus for me. It was mixed in with the others. But that's my birth year. I don't have a truck apportioned or a trailer apportioned. I paid, I think, $3 for this one. And then this is what a bingo plate is. And these would work for trucks that had to travel to other states. Big trucks, I mean. I don't, I don't know the exact details of it. But basically, so they would be legal to drive in that state, they would have to get a sticker for that state. I've got a few of these that have stickers on them, but I don't have any that have never been used before that still have the original envelope even, so that was pretty cool. So those three there I'm going to keep for myself, but pretty much everything else I bought at that auction is going to be sold. There was one table, and they bought a few things off of it. I think I bought, oh, it's still up there. There's a box of door handles and a couple of little things I bought off the table, and there was probably seven or eight boxes left, and they said, what am I bid on the whole works? And I think I bought everything for five or six bucks, and on that table, there was this old Mustang radio, with the bezel still in pretty good condition i mean that's probably worth quite a bit more than i paid for just that there was this one here honestly this may just be scrap this pal i'll go through those wiper motors but uh the problem with these old vacuum motors is they're really hard to identify what they came off of so more than likely this in here has the little doohickey on it so i don't know i may hang on to that one but the rest of these are well i don't know we'll decide on that later and then there was this mirror just fell out of one of the other boxes and then this up here this was kind of laid out in several piles, but it's Mustang instrument cluster parts, just leftover parts and pieces, but I'm sure I can sell them. And then there's a box of mirrors and some other stuff up there that we'll look at in a minute that was on that same table. And then after the sale was over, my buddy Skyler came up to me and he's like, hey, I bought a bucket of stuff and this was in the bottom, do you want it? That's an old Kenworth semi logo. That was in there. And what else was in here? Oh, yeah, I got this trophy topper of an old motorcycle. That was pretty cool. And then there was two of these. I gave one to my dad and I kept one. For a trophy those are pretty neat too i think there was something else but I don't remember what it was that he found in the thing that i bought from him here's that diamond t hood ornament that i got in that box for 225 dollars that whole box of stuff that piece there is probably worth quite a bit more than what i paid for the whole box so i made pretty good money on that box once i sell everything and then the rest of this box was just miscellaneous parts here's an old ford v8 hood ornament there's some old ford badges off the side of the hood there's some cool stuff in here. This old Chevy logo. I've never even seen one like that. I'm guessing late 30s, early 40s. Here's a Chevy grill ornament. Here's an old Buick. Just odds and end pieces. There's a hood ornament in there, a rocket. Just odds and end pieces. I, I don't remember what I gave for that box. It wasn't much. Pretty much everything I bought, I bought pretty cheap. The only thing I paid pretty good money for, I felt like, was that old grain truck that's over there. I gave 1100 for it, but I sold it for 2000 so I still made pretty good money on it. 
And here's this box here, some cool stuff in here. This may have been another one that I kind of overpaid on. I don't know what these things are worth. I haven't looked them up. I think I gave 40 or 50 bucks for this whole box. I bought this box and those two strips that say Diamond T at the same time, and I gave 50 bucks a piece for them. But uh, I don't know if I made any money on this one or not, but I kind of wanted a couple of these for myself. So I guess it all works out in the end. So I have this box here with these motors in it. I keep calling them motors, they're not really motors, they're vacuum pumps. But uh, these wiper pumps, I guess I should say, but I was looking through the box and this stuff was in there too. I don't know what this is, but that's kind of a neat logo. And then this year I was just going to throw it in the scrap, but then I got to looking at it and that's kind of a cool looking old handle. I don't know what it's off of. At first I thought it was just a refrigerator handle or something like that, but it's got a lock on it. Plus it's got a handle here too. So it must've been like on a, a box van, I'm guessing of some sort, maybe a box van, maybe a, a trailer. I don't know, but it's really cool and it's pretty old. So uh, that might be worth some money. I'm guessing that's probably out of the fifties just by looking at it. And then also there was these two really cool handles. I thought those are kind of neat too. So I'm guessing some sort of interior handle off the back of a seat out of something is what I would guess. I could be wrong on that, but that's just my guess. This box here, I have no clue what this is. I need to see on the tag. I'll see what it is before I throw it away. It's probably not anything, but it might be. You never know. If you know what that is, let me know. But this is the main thing I wanted. I gave $10 for this box and it had this old horn in it. I didn't really look it over that good. It's a little bit rusty on the inside, so I'm sure it's going to need taken apart and restored but it's an old Dayton auto horn. And uh, I can't find any of these online, this style anyway. I found some small ones, but no big ones like this, but I did find this exact tag and just the tag was $60. So uh, I'm not sure what this thing's worth, but worst case scenario, I pop the tag off and throw the rest of the horn in the junk. But I'm thinking that's probably worth a little bit of money. Just guessing, especially if I can get it to work, but uh, I don't have a whole lot of time to invest in working on things. So I'll probably sell it as is, but I'm sure I'll still make money on it. Here's the old Dodge brothers that I bought. I took the radiator with me that day, so we would steal it. But here's the rest of it. The doors are off of it. It's a pretty well complete car. It's got some rust in it down here now that I look at it. I didn't notice that the day of the sale, but not a real big deal. Got the bumpers in there, the old trunk box. Pretty cool old car. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with it though. I've got a couple people maybe wanting it, so uh, if they decide they want it, I'll go ahead and sell it. But otherwise, I don't know, maybe I can make a crushing video. What do you guys think? Doesn't have power steering. That'll work, you just put them on the front. Got it all loaded up. Found out some interesting history on this place here. This little path that runs right here, that was Main Street in Elmer, Kansas. Right now we're standing in Elmer, Kansas. A population of two people, actually. The guy that owns the property lives in this house here. There's two people live there. Those are the sole residents of Elmer, Kansas. But this was a Main Street back in the day. And back at the back, there was a railroad depot and a post office. And they would bring liquor in on the train, drop it off back in the Prohibition era. And because this is outside of town quite a ways, the people from out in town that had the speakeasies and whatnot could come out here and grab the liquor and take it into town and distribute it to the people. And so that's kind of what the purpose of Elmer, Kansas was. All the original houses and everything that used to be here are all long gone. That house was moved out here a number of years ago. That was actually in town at one point in time. And that house there was also during the Prohibition era. There's cubby holes all through the house where they would hide liquor and whatnot. And then I guess they also did under the table uh, backdoor abortions out of that place as well. Regardless of how you feel about that, that's just an interesting piece of history from a long, long time ago. But yeah, now Elmer is pretty much defunct. It's just, just the two people live here. This is all that's left of Elmer. There's a sign out on the road that says Elmer, Kansas, and that's the only reminder that this place ever existed. Kind of, kind of interesting history though. This truck here is pretty cool. I didn't realize what it was when I bought it, but this is a C40. I don't know that I've ever owned a C40 before. This is a heavy one ton. A little bit bigger than a C30, so that's pretty interesting. It's a little bit too tall to haul, so we're going to loosen this cable up. We've got the chain hooked, so when that cable's loose, it'll drop down, and it'll be tight on the chain, and it won't be so tall to where we can haul it easier. There we go. That got it. Now it's a lot lower. It's about the same height as hauling a big grain truck or something like that, so or a box truck or something like that, so we can haul it now.
here's some more of the stuff. I think this box with these old taillights, this box with these old mirrors, and then this box of miscellaneous stuff. I don't even know what all this is. Bumper guards, Mustang parts, odds and trinkets. All that was part of that table where I just bought everything on the table. Uh, this was the first thing I bought at the auction was these two old lights here. I thought they were kind of neat. They say international on them. They're in pretty good condition. They got really good patina. I think I gave 25 for the pair of those. And then I bought this box full of door handles. I don't remember for what, five, six bucks, something like that. There was that whole trailer clear full of hubcaps here, if you remember right. And my dad bought some, I bought some. I bought a few and once again, I guess I'm adding more to my collection that I'm keeping. But there's one set of Thunderbirds and a pair of Pontiacs over there. I'll show you to the, in a second. Uh, those I'm gonna keep and hang up by the bus. But these I bought to sell. And for what I gave for all of the hubcaps, I'll be able to double my money just on this set and then this pair right here. I bought this set of Thunderbirds here. I think there's two old Pontiacs right there, two of those. And there's a set of three Dodges right here that say Dodge on them. Yeah, those there. I bought all those to keep. These are all my dad's hubcaps over here. He bought all these. There's a set of Federals. And here's an old hood ornament. Some Oldsmobile stuff. I think those match the hood ornament. He liked all that. So uh, he just put them in here for now. And then last but not least, there's the radiator for that old Dodge Brothers. That was with the car. I grabbed it the day of the sale so no one would steal it. And then I had these two old mag wheels. I didn't plan on buying these. I didn't want these. But I got them for $10, which is pretty much scrap price. So I went ahead and bought those. They had a whole set of five log ones as well. But those went for, uh, I believe, $35 per pair. So that's a little bit more than scrap price. So I didn't buy those. So that's everything. There's those pieces there. Oh, this gas tank here. I bought that there as well. I'm just going to cut a face on the other side of that when it gets closer to Halloween. Make that into a junk lantern and here's everything else I bought. Lots of cool stuff here. Bunches of good stuff. And like I say, I believe I sold the green Chevy truck for two grand. Oh, I should, guess I should back up a little bit. And I gave just under $2,900 for everything on the, that I bought. And like I said, I think I have that one for, sold for two grand. And the yellow winch truck, I may have sold it for $1,200. So I'm already in the green. I already made a profit. And I still have all of this stuff. Plus the Dodge Brothers, I have a guy interested in that as well. So if I sell that, I'll be sitting at over a thousand dollars in profit and I still have all of this kind of figuring very conservatively I would say there's probably around two thousand dollars worth of stuff in here like I said those those diamond tea parts are worth quite a bit of money and there's bunches of license plates those will be worth pretty good money and then some of the stuff like that carburetor and that nice injection pump those will bring decent money those headlights or fog lights whatever they are will bring good money hubcaps that sort of stuff so all together probably gonna make once it's all said and done around $3,000 profit is my guess. And then I get to keep the few items that I wanted to keep for free. Granted, it'll probably take me, <laughs> by the time I get rid of everything, it'll probably be four or five years from now. So that's over time. But if you've got, you know, 30 or 40 deals like that going at once, it's a nice steady income coming in. And I've started slowly trying to put stuff on eBay again, a few items here and there, mainly just waiting for it to cool down again. Cause like you guys know, I don't have air conditioning in any of my storage locations. And like right now, it's 106 degrees, so it's pretty warm outside. I really don't feel like putting stuff on eBay. But the good news is, is there's a cool front coming in. As of the time I'm recording this, tomorrow the high is only 90, and then the day after that is only 86. And then it's supposed to be in the mid-80s to low 90s for the foreseeable future, and a little bit of rain coming. So that's going to be a very nice change. So yeah, it was definitely a good sale. Got lots of good deals, lots of cool treasures. Had a lot of fun doing it. But I am pretty well done for the day. I'm definitely glad my dad helped me out. He helped me haul those vehicles, which saved me some time and having to get my trailer hooked up and all that. And then also the day of the auction, he helped watch the kids. So I didn't have to babysit them while I was bidding and try to make sure, make sure they're okay. Didn't have to take them to the bathroom every time they had to go. Didn't have to constantly worry about, I got them some food and drink and I was able to just let my dad stand over there with them in the shade while they ate. It was just really nice having my dad there. So shout out to my dad. Thank you for helping me. Once again, thank you to Morris Yoder Auctions for letting me film out there. And with that, I'm going to let you all go. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. And remember to get out there and find an adventure. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah. You want to do 12 and a half? Sold out $10, 119.